Okay, in this tutorial we're going to create the Vasily chair that you see here in front of you uh, on this decal. Now a few things to note about this, uh, it's a reasonably complex object to, to create. Um, we have these profiles here that we need to model and the bits of leather, which aren't too bad, you can just do those with uh, a fairly easy extrusion. Um, so, I suppose we'll like all these things, we're going to start off by creating a new family. So, create a new family. And this time we're going to use the metric furniture. There we go. Now, again, we get there our usual reference planes here. So what we're going to do is set up a few more reference planes on this thing just to give us something to work with. So uh, again, we have uh, front, back, left and right. So I'm just going to draw these in in rough, like so. And again, we're going to just adjust these afterwards. So here and here. Okay, so I'm going to modify these now. Uh, left to right, this thing is 800, so that's 400 aside. So let's get 400 there. And front to back, it is 740, so that comes out to be uh, 370. 370 there. It's an odd dimension. Ah, it's not drawn correctly. I'm just going to delete that one out and draw in another reference plane. Uh, so 360, 380. There to there. And let's change that then to 370. Okay. Now, next thing we need to do is set a height on this thing. So if we have a quick look back in the image itself, um, the height from here, the base to this area here, is uh, about 720. So let's pop back into the family editor and uh, we're going to go into one of the side views here and just pop that in. So create reference plane and just as usual, just drop it in in rough. See if we got to pick up anywhere on this. There we go. Oops, 760, pretty close, but not close enough. So 720, there we go. Now, with those constraints in place, um, I can start creating it. But before I do that, I just want to give you a quick look at how the sweep tool works. So I'm going to go back onto the reference level. What I'm going to do is just create a simple um, sweep for you so you can get to see how that works. So this thing works by creating a profile, or sorry, a path, and then applying a profile to it, which will extrude along the length. So similar to the extrusion, uh, idea where we only extruded though on one plane. Now we can give it a path to follow. So that's extruding in one plane. If we look at the sweep, and give it a second for the demo to load up there, you can see we can provide this path, give it a profile, and it'll build it in. So we click on the tool, and uh, we get the option of sketching, sketching or picking a path. So we're going to sketch a path very quickly. And again, we get the standard tools here. So lines and boxes and whatnot. So I was going to click on the line tool and just put this in here to here to here and finish that. And now it's going to ask me to put in a profile so I can load one or I can create one. So in this instance here, I'm going to create a profile by clicking the edit button. Now it's worth noting that this is where you're going to be drawing. So if I click on the edit profile, it's going to ask me to have a look at a left or right elevation and create the profile on that. So I'm going to click to the right elevation there, doesn't matter which one you choose. And now I'm going to draw in the profile of the object I want. So in this case here, I'm just going to use a circle uh, from here to there. It's a bit odd, but anyway. Um, so there we go, that's it. And I'm going to try and apply that, and there we go. So if I have a look at this in a 3D view, let's go and find it now. There we go. There's our piece of pipe. Now the problem we have on this one is that we have these 45 degree angles, so it's actually cut it uh, not quite the way we want it. Now for this chair, when you look at it, what you see is these radiuses here. So what we want to do is be able to create those. So what I'm going to do is uh, give you a quick show on how that works. Now. There's our object, so I might just leave it there. 
So what I'm going to do now is create another sweep, but this time I'm going to do that with radiuses. So I've, I've activated the tool, I'm going to sketch a path, and this time I'm going to pop in a radius. So I'm seeing 15 on that, so I'm going to run with it. Or actually, no, I might just push that to 25. So I'll just type in 25, hit enter. And now what I'm going to do is draw a path from here to here. And you see when I click down here again, it pops in the radius. And it doesn't really care what angle you choose, it will still radius, so we can use an acute angle there, and it'll just radius that all the way around. And I'll leave one like that. Okay. Um, okay, that's okay, I'm gonna run with that, and then I'm gonna click Finish for that. And now it's gonna again ask me for the profile, not the dot that's right there. Um, so I'm gonna do that by editing the profile. It's gonna again throw me to an elevation. So it doesn't by default find it, so you have to go get it. There it is. And what I'm gonna do is create it here. Now it's kind of important that you make sure that the profile you create is um, is not gonna cause problems for the radius. So if the radius is small, you need a small profile. So anyway, let's pop this in here and I'll run this out to 15. There we go, and hit finish on that one. So that has now created that, finish it, and it seems to have worked. Let's get a quick look at this again in the 3D view. And there it is. So you can see there that the radii have been applied correctly. They're a wee bit tight. Let me just change the scale on this as well. Bring it down to 1 to 2 maybe. And you can see there how it's, uh, yep, seems to be working reasonably well. Good, good. So our job now is to set up the paths in such a way that we can create this thing. Now, this is not exactly easy because we have um, some pretty big loops here. And um, by default, Revit has a few problems when you start changing the directions of those radii. Now, if you look at this one, where you've got one radius going along here, and then we're changing direction and we're going here. Revit doesn't play nicely when this happens. So what we're gonna have to do is create two separate sweeps. One to represent all of the uh, turns in here, if you want to consider that the uh, XZ plane for instance, and um, in the YZ we're going to have to create another set of profiles along there. Now for these ones here, um, we're going to take a slightly different approach. We're going to create it um, in whatever space we choose, and then we'll just rotate the object when we're done. Um, but these ones here, a bit of a challenge. All right, so let's uh, go back into our family editor, editor and get started. Okay, so onto the reference level, and I don't want these guys anymore, so I'm just gonna delete them. Now, I want to work um, on the front profile, first of all. So what I want to do is work on this one. All right. So what I'll do is work on the front. And what I'm also going to do is set, uh, I might go back in here. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to set this one as my working plane. All right. Now, by doing that, anything that I create from here on in will be sitting along this line here. So what I'm going to do is click on the set button, and it's saying current work plane, name, reference level, blah, 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 and then pick a plane. So click OK and grab this guy. Now, it's asking me, because you can't work in the plane as it is, it's asking me to want to work from the front or the back. So I'll just work on the front there. Okay, so now anything I draw will be along that. Now, I'm also going to drop in another reference plane here. Um, simply because I'm going to split uh, the object into two. So I don't really care where it goes, so maybe I'll put it there. All right, that'll do. And what I'm gonna do is create this leading profile, this part, first. And then I can copy that or do the same process basically in the back, do the back one. And then I can go to the, each of the side elevations, left and right, to do that bit. By setting up a reference plane in between them, it means that I'll hit these points correctly and we won't have any sort of mismatch, or at least that's the plan. Okay, so back into my front here, 
And um, again, I don't have dimensions on this thing, so I'm going to do it fairly rough. And uh, again, grab the sweep tool here, sketch a path, and I'm going to run it up. Now, 720 is the full height of this thing, so why not just run it to here? Also, turn on this radius here. I'm going to leave the radius at 25 mil. Mm, nah, maybe push it to 30. Okay, run this up by 250. Looks okay. Bring it over by maybe. Mm, yeah, why not? Uh, bring it down by 120. Okay, cancel that. Now, again, I'm going to do the same thing on those sides. I want all this stuff to meet. So up here, you see there you get your construction lines, bring it over by 100, which I think is what I did. Bring it down till it meets there. And then I'm going to put it to here. And you can see there that nice conveniently joins them up. So this is my path. Um, looks pretty good, I'm okay with that. So I'll finish there. And this is my reference plane now, so it's going to ask me to edit the profile on that. So into the edit, um, we do the reference level here. And um, it's quite narrow actually, these things. So maybe I'll select a 10 mil radius in this one. So I'll change that to one to one. Uh, draw in a circle and go out to 10 mil. Good. And then finish. Okay, and finish that. It seems to have worked. So let's have a look at a 3D view. There we go. Now I need to do this twice, so hopefully I'll remember the dimensions. But um, before I do that, I need to get the correct reference level. So I want to work on this profile now. So get the Create tab working, click on the Set button, pick a plane, and uh, click OK there. So I'll grab this one, and now it's going to throw me to the front or the back. So I'm going to go straight to the back here. And uh, anything I draw now will be on that back plane. Now, as you can see, I've already got um, the other profile visible, which is kind of convenient. So again, click on the sweep tool, sketch a path, line tool, turn on the radius, again, 30 millimeters. And what we can do is start tracing. Roughly right. Now, I brought that up by 250, and it was over by 100, then came down by, was, mm, there. Actually, I'm going to bring it down by 100, and, uh, ugh. okay, when you're doing this, do a better job than me. Uh, That's a hundred. Bring it down to yeah, it's in line. Yeah, I should have brought it further. Okay, but that's not a problem because what I can do now is grab this guy and move it down a bit. Okay, so let's double check this. Yeah, it looks reasonably okay. <coughs> okay, I'll finish that as a path and again edit the profile. So it's asking me where I want to look, so I'll look from the reference level again and uh, draw in my 10 mil circle. Oops. There we go. Finish it. And finish. Okay. Let's see what we got. So view, default 3D, and now I got these two. Uh, scaling again, it's looking horrible here, so we'll just change that up to one to two. We can start to see how this is working. Um, so we're getting there. So next step is to do the other pieces underneath here. So if we go and have a look at, uh, let's remind ourselves what we're trying to do. We've got these profiles, reasonably okay. So now we want to go in these directions here, which is actually a little bit simpler. So let's uh, back in. Now, um, I want to back onto the reference level, and what I want to do is work in this plane and in this plane. And again, we have the height set on the other one, so that's fine. Now, that being the case, I need to set those up. So, click on the Create tab here. I want to set their levels. So, pick a plane, click OK, grab that, and elevation left to right doesn't matter. 
And what we're going to do is um, let me change these down to one to, one to ten, and then go from here to here. Again, maintaining that thirty degree radius. So click on the sweep button, sketch the path, turn on the radius, and going from here to here to here to here. There we go, that's that done. And uh, we can finish that. Again, this is our point where we're going to draw the profile, so edit the profile. Back on the reference level to do that. And uh, it's getting easier now because we can see what we're doing. So let's pull that to there. 10 mil and finish. Okay. And again, we're going to do the same on the other side. So we need to set that working plane again. So set, pick a plane, click OK, grab this. Uh, doesn't matter. Now, starting to get a little bit of a confused space here. But I'm going to do the same over here. So again, sweep tool, sketch path, Oop, turn on the radius, here, to here, to here. Here, finish that. Uh, add the profile again. You can see repetition coming into this pretty quickly, and just pull that out and finish it. And finish now. Let's see what we got. Yay, starting to look like a chair. Um, now you can see we have this join visible here, so uh, not perfect, but it's getting us in the right direction, and uh, I think I'll stop it there.